All right, let's talk about what happened on season one of The Summer I Turned Pretty. First, we get an introduction to our crew. Laurel Conklin and Susanna Fisher are best friends and spend every summer together with their families at Susanna's house in Cousins Beach. Laurel has two kids, Stephen and our main character, Isabel, who everyone calls Belly. Susanna has two boys, the oldest, more serious Conrad and the younger, fun-loving Jeremiah. We open with Belly packing for the summer trip and talking to her best friend, Taylor. This is the first of many times that conversations will mention Belly's recent change in appearance. From all grown up to in bloom, she hears it all. Belly is hoping this will finally be the year her crush on Conrad comes to fruition. In Cousins, a random guy at the gas station invites her to the bonfire that night, giving her hopes that things really will be different this year. They arrive at the house and are greeted warmly by Susanna and Jeremiah. When Conrad appears, he gets his own entrance music. He seems surly until the boys decide to throw Belly into the pool. Belly fakes out Conrad and pulls him into the pool as well, and he seems really put out about it. At the bookstore in town, Laurel criticizes a fellow author, Cleveland Castillo, not realizing he's within earshot. Oops. At dinner that night, they talk about Conrad quitting football, Stephen and Jeremiah working at the country club, and Susanna gives Belly an invitation to be a debutante. The rest of them laugh at the idea, her mom calling her a feral alley cat. But Belly says she'll think about it. Going for a nighttime swim, Belly finds Conrad smoking by the pool. She chastises him for going against his own advice about drugs. She asks why he's been acting so different, and he seems about to tell her something when the other boys show up and they leave for the bonfire. Belly ditches the annual movie night with the moms and sneaks out to the bonfire as well. As she arrives, the gas station guy sees her and offers her a beer. Stephen chases the boy away, telling him she's only 15. Belly is disheartened to see Conrad kissing a girl named Nicole. Stephen tries to take her home, but Jeremiah convinces him to let her stay. Left on her own, Belly is approached by a boy who recognizes her from a Latin convention. I guess that's a thing? And they really hit it off. A fight breaks out between Conrad and gas station guy. Belly attempts to break it up and gets an elbow to the face in the process. The police show up and break up the party. Cam offers to take Belly home, but Jeremiah refuses, so instead they share a kiss before he leaves. The cops escort the kids home, and Laurel is furious at all of them. The next morning, Belly tries to see Cam before his whale watching boat leaves, but doesn't make it in time. She decides to accept Susanna's invitation to be a debutante. The girls go shopping for the clothes Belly will need to be a debutante. Belly likes a simpler dress, but Susanna insists they go all out. Are fascinators really a thing again, or is this just a cousin's beach thing? The boys settle in to their jobs at the country club, and Jeremiah points out his previous conquests. Stephen spots Shayla, the girl he met at the bonfire, and Jeremiah warns against her, but Stephen is already smitten. Jeremiah helps Belly find the debutante tea and causes quite the stir as he is still shirtless in his lifeguard uniform. Belly finds herself at a table between Nicole and Shayla, who helps her cover the bruise from the night before. Nicole will be acting as her big sister and guiding her through the debutante process. Belly spots Cam walking by and they make a date to go to the drive-in that night and say the word wistful a lot. At a book signing party, Laurel talks with Cleveland, who needs to know more about sailing for the book he's working on. She suggests Conrad could help. The boys get bored at the book party and decide to crash Belly's date as a joke. She doesn't find it remotely funny and yells at them to leave. Back at the house, Stephen sneaks out to meet Shayla on the beach and agrees to be her escort for the debutante ball. Belly makes out with Cam before heading back in the house. Finding Conrad in the kitchen, she confronts him about crashing her date, and they trade insults. Belly feels like her crush on him has officially died. It's Belly's birthday, and they celebrate it in the same way each year. Belly thinks fondly of the time Conrad taught her about the infinity symbol with syrup on her pancakes. Something tells me this will be significant later. Susanna gives her a family heirloom, the pearl necklace she received at the same age. Though we see him hide a small gift, Conrad claims to have forgotten to get her anything. Taylor is visiting for Belly's birthday and balks at Belly's plans to spend it with adults. Jeremiah tells him of a party at Nicole's house that night. Taylor is openly hostile toward Nicole and Conrad, going so far as to hit Nicole with a volleyball and then exchanging insults with Conrad. 
At the beach, Taylor confesses to being freaked out by Belly's glow up and makes her promise they will always be best friends. Susanna asks Laurel to talk to Conrad. She does, but mistakenly thinks he's heartbroken because he broke up with a girl a few months ago. It's pretty obvious that's not what his problem is. After an awkward dinner where Jeremiah puts Cam on the spot, they decide to go to Nicole's party. Nicole grabs Belly to have her make a birthday wish, and Taylor feels left behind. When karaoke begins, Belly doesn't want to join, but Cam does, so she goes in search of Taylor. She finds Taylor in a room making out with her brother. She storms out and finds Cam playing beer pong with the guys. Cam asks if there's something going on between her and Jeremiah because he got a vibe. She says no, he's like a brother, but still doesn't ask Cam to the debutante ball. Conrad bonds with Cleveland during their knot tying lessons. Looking for car keys, Belly finds an infinity necklace in Conrad's things, making her wonder why he didn't give her such a thoughtful gift. Because of the pancake thing, remember? Remember? Belly says an awkward goodbye to Taylor, and then talks to Stephen on the beach. He says it was a mistake because he's feeling insecure, and asks her not to tell Shayla. Finally, we see Susanna and Laurel on the beach, and a big bomb is dropped. Susanna has cancer and has decided not to do any more treatments. She hasn't told the kids because she wants them all to have one last perfect summer. Every summer, they throw a big blowout for the 4th of July. Belly is upset that her dad, John, is coming and bringing his new girlfriend. When Laurel finds out that Susanna's husband, Adam, isn't coming, she secretly makes a call. Dad's girlfriend, Victoria, teaches them how to make pomegranate margaritas, and Belly indulges a bit too much. Adam shows up, but Susanna is not happy about it. Belly goes on a drunken truth tour, telling Shayla about Taylor and Stephen, and then ambushing Conrad in the shower, demanding to know about the necklace. Everyone leaves, and Shayla tells Stephen she knows about Taylor, but they weren't serious anyway. Random question. Back in my day, hooking up meant actually sleeping with someone. Does it not mean that anymore? This show uses it several times to refer to just making out with someone. Drunk Belly trips and falls into Susanna, knocking her and the cake over, breaking her grandmother's fancy cake stand. After Susanna screams at Adam to leave her alone, we find out that he cheated on her while she was doing chemo a few years back. Wow, that's a whole nother level of dirtbag. Laurel and Susanna fight about how she's handling everything, and Laurel storms out. After getting some advice from Jeremiah, Stephen goes to Shayla and is honest with her about his insecurities and asks to be exclusive. Laurel is drowning her woes at the bar when she runs into Cleveland and ends up hooking up with him in a car. Now this is real hooking up. Belly catches her mom sneaking back into the house and gets a sense for what has happened. She asks how you know when you are with the right person, and Laurel says it'll feel right. Belly watches some fireworks with Conrad, and he admits to buying the necklace, saying she doesn't know the effect she has on people. It looks like they're about to kiss when Jeremiah shoots a firework right past them and interrupts. From the look on his face, this was no accident. It's time for the Debs to learn some dance moves, and Belly remembers back when she was trying to learn a dance and Conrad helped her. See how they both have glasses? That's how you know it was before they both turned pretty. Having not asked Cam yet, Belly is on her own, and Nicole steps in to help her learn the necessary steps for the waltz. Jeremiah comes in and turns the dance lesson to a party for a few minutes before getting kicked out. Conrad waves, and both Nicole and Belly think it's meant for them. Awkward. Cleveland notices Conrad's improved mood, and Conrad hints that he's been thinking about Belly, but he's afraid he'll mess it up. Cleveland gives enough details about his latest dalliance that Conrad figures out who it was with and encourages him to text Laurel. Belly goes on a bike ride with Cam, where she tells him that she's just not that into him. Dude, the avocado and sprout sandwiches were probably not helping. Just saying. He's bummed, but they seem to part on good terms. Steven is promoted to working the card room where he can make excellent tips, but struggles to ignore the blatantly racist comments they make. The moms make up and Laurel tells Susanna about her hookup with Cleveland. They partake in some edibles, and Susanna tries to paint Jeremiah, resulting in a portrait they all agree is pretty bad. The women talk about the past and find their way to an old haunt. Susanna makes out with a random dude and encourages Laurel to message Cleveland back, which she finally does. Belly is excited to see Conrad after the events of the previous night, 
But when he sees his mom's painting, he loses it and his entire demeanor changes. He tries to play it off like he was too drunk to remember, but Belly calls his bluff. He says he thinks about her, but he just can't. And Belly says she won't wait for him anymore. Belly calls Taylor and apologizes, saying she wishes she was there. Laurel goes off with Cleveland, and Susanna gets an Uber home. She's obviously feeling weak after a long day. Conrad finds her and helps her up the stairs. During a late night swim, Jeremiah joins Belly and tells her he wants to be more than friends, and they share a kiss. It's time for the annual volleyball fundraising tournament, and Taylor comes back to be Belly's partner. Susanna tells Conrad to ask Belly to be her escort to the ball, saying he's always been her Prince Charming, and he agrees. Conrad attempts to help Cleveland with a wood rot problem on his boat, but loses it. Cleveland talks him down from the panic attack, and Conrad confides in him that he knows his mother is sick. He's been hiding it from everyone, even her, feeling like if he admits it, he'll be the one that makes it real. Cleveland is a big help to Conrad here, telling him that it isn't on him to carry this alone. Conrad apologizes to Belly and asks about the ball. She is surprised, but says she'll think about it. At the tournament, Taylor fakes an injury so Jeremiah will play with Belly. She is totally team Jelly and wants to keep Belly away from Conbad. It works at first, but when they start losing to a really good team, Belly's competitive side kicks in and she makes Jeremiah swap for Conrad to get the win. They win the tournament, and Susanna reveals she told Conrad to ask Belly to the ball. Belly and Taylor hang out with Nicole and the other Debs, where Taylor makes her reveal that she made out with Jeremiah, and then Nicole suggests they all go skinny dipping. The boys go to a party with Shayla, and Stephen is invited to play poker with her rich friends. Unfortunately, he loses all the money he's made that summer. Jeremiah attempts to talk to Conrad because he's been noticing things about their mom. Conrad blows him off because he's busy texting Belly, saying he really does want to take her to the ball. While skinny dipping, Nicole accidentally sees the text on Belly's phone, and she and the other Debs leave, taking Belly and Taylor's clothes with them. They find a tarp and start to walk home, but Taylor convinces Belly to call Jeremiah. Nicole shows up at the party and demands to talk to Conrad alone, just as Jeremiah gets the call from Belly asking for help. Nicole confronts Conrad for his behavior all summer. Gotta give the dude credit here. He's behaved badly and he owns it and delivers a sincere apology for wasting her time, so she gives him the girl's clothes. Both boys show up at the same time to help Belly and Taylor. Belly rides with Jeremiah and apologizes for kicking him out of the tournament. He forgives her easily and they kiss. Belly asks if he will take her to the dub ball, and even though it's really not his thing, he agrees. Later that night, Belly tells Conrad to stop texting her. He gives her the infinity necklace and says he doesn't want to lose her, but Belly tells him it's too late. The day of the ball has arrived and the mom surprised Belly with the dress she actually liked. Stephen goes to Shayla and admits he can't afford the tux she wanted. She's upset, of course, but her dad has one that he wears instead, despite it not fitting properly. Belly is about to leave for the ball, and Jeremiah gives her a little pep talk. Stephen sees them kiss and goes ballistic. He says she's too young, but she points out that she's the same age as Shayla and Taylor. Hard to argue with that, Mr. Hypocrite. He then goes and confronts Jeremiah, who uses his charm to calm him down. Stephen leaves, saying, just don't do stuff in front of me. Getting ready, Belly makes up with Nicole, who says Conrad is an F-boy, but Belly is kind of an F-girl. Which seems kind of harsh, I mean, isn't the F part of F-girl kind of a requirement for the title? Susanna feels like everything is perfect. After Belly is presented, Laurel gets emotional and steps out for a second. John follows her and they talk about Susanna's illness. Jeremiah came looking for them and overheard part of the conversation. The escorts do a little number that seems wildly inappropriate to be doing in front of their dates' families and their own families, but it's entertaining nonetheless. After the dance, Shayla tells Stephen he was incredible. He finds out she used to date one of the poker guys, and he tells her about his insecurities fitting in her world. She tells him she's glad he's not like those guys and says, I choose you. 
Jeremiah, still concerned about what he overheard, steals his mom's phone. He goes outside to look through it. This scene is just heartbreaking. What a terrible way to find out your mom is dying. The main dance is about to start and Jeremiah is nowhere to be found. Belly stands alone for a minute, but Conrad steps in and dances with her. After the dance is finished, Jeremiah goes to Conrad to tell him, but realizes he already knew. They fight until Susanna comes to break it up, and they tell her they know about the cancer. We're back at the house with Belly and her mom reacting to the news about Susanna. Belly's gotten a little perspective now and is feeling selfish for her behavior all summer. Stephen joins them and they all have a good cry together. The scene with Susanna and the boys is so heartbreaking. They beg her to do the trial and at least try to get better. As a mom, I can tell you, no matter the age, when your baby looks you in the eyes and says, I need you, you will move mountains to make it happen. Susanna tells Laurel that she is going to do the trial, and Laurel tells her she just knows it's going to work because she believes in her. They share a family dinner, just like the old days, and Belly says she will always come back to this place and to these people. Belly and Conrad are talking on the beach. He apologizes and said he almost told her about his mom several times this summer. She knows he needs someone right now. He says there are so many things he wants to say to her, and they end up kissing. Belly's voiceover says that if this can happen, maybe anything can. But wait, what about Jeremiah? I mean, sure, Conrad saved you at the dance, but Jeremiah was only gone because he found out about his mom. That's a pretty solid excuse to me. And doesn't he need someone right now, too? Oh, man, this somewhat happy ending could turn into a big mess. And that's where we end season one of The Summer I Turned Pretty. Thanks for watching. Please take a minute to subscribe. Helps me out a lot, and I will see you in the next video.